hey physics 30 so uh here are the notes that i have asked you to go over independently uh, but i just want to point out a few things so basically we're starting the magnetic unit by um, looking at magnetic field so just like a charged object has a field around it so does a magnet okay so it has a field of influence around it so we have our two poles we have our north and our south pole okay and uh, when you put your magnetic poles in um, a magnetic material you'll see the clear um, shape of the magnetic field and what it looks like it's very very dense at either side of the poles i'm sorry about the like bad quality here i don't know what's going on with their printer everything is just giving up on us okay so what you need to know about magnetic field lines is they that they po point from north to south okay that's really important north to, north to south north to south and north to south south okay um, and then remember the direction of the field is tangent to uh, any point. So for example, if I'm looking at the magnetic field right there, it's going directly to the right, okay? Because it's always tangent to the field line. If I was looking right here, tangent to the field line, so it looks like it's going kind of northeast like that, okay? If I was looking at the field line right here, it's going right out of the North Pole. It's kind of going southwest like that. Okay, so that's what it means when I say it's tangent to the line at any point. Okay, so just to kind of show you what's going on with field lines and how we knew that these were happening, here is um, basically, here I'll move it. Oh, no. Can you see that? There we go. So here are a bunch of little iron kind of files there, filings, okay? So as soon as I put a magnet on top of that, you can start to see it goes a little bit. And then if I just give them a little bit of a shake, you can clearly see how the magnetic field lines are going away from the north, okay? And towards the south here. So that's pretty cool how it just makes that shape uh, all of a sudden. So there you go. That's what magnetic field lines look like. Okay. So please, please, please note that. This is what your magnetic field lines will look like when you bring uh, north to north or south to south. So we know that like poles will repel just like like charges repel. Um, same poles, or sorry, unlike poles will attract just like unlike charges attract. So there we go. That's what it looks like. So if you see again, they join together there, but here they diverge apart. So it looks very similar to our electric field. Okay. Um, but there's just a few differences. So for electric force, the strength depends on the separation distance uh, and a charge can be isolated. So you have a single positive, single neg negative, but magnetism uh, cannot be isolated. You're always gonna have a north and south pole, okay? If I cut this in half here, what would happen is this wouldn't just be a north pole and a south pole. We'd have a north and a south here and then a north and a south here. Okay, because the electrons would realign themselves to create two new magnets. Uh, so a magnet can never just be a North Pole or a South Pole. It has to be the whole thing. Okay, so that's really important to note. It's different from electric fields. Okay, and then I sent you a video on Earth's magnetic field, so I'm not going to go over this too much. Um, but one thing that you do need to know is that the North Pole is uh, that towards points towards geographic north is actually a magnetic south pole. I know, I know. Uh, and so that means our geographic south pole is actually our magnetic north pole. Isn't that fun? Okay, so they don't coincide with the geographic poles. Uh, and also our magnetic poles are wandering and they're wandering a lot right now. So that's pretty crazy. And watch the PBS video I sent you if you want to know more about that. Okay, but again, if this is our north geographic pole, that's actually our south magnetic. This is our uh, geographic south pole, it's actually our north magnetic pole. Okay, so that's really, really important. You have to kind of just picture a massive um, magnet inside the earth here. Okay. 
It's a big old bar magnet where here we have our south pole and here we have our north pole of the magnet. Okay, and the reason being is because we're made, we have an iron core, right? And our, um, in the center of our world. So that is a very, very, very magnetic su substance. Iron is one of the most magnetic su substances out there. That's creating the magnetic field around us. Okay. Um, so of course this is what affects wildlife navigation. A lot of birds actually have little magnets in their beaks, which I think is pretty cool. So they can figure out where to go. Um, and then we have our magnetosphere, which is really, really awesome because that is what actually protects us from a lot of things. So that protects us from uh, solar flares from the sun. They are deflected by the Earth's magnetic field, which is awesome. And then it actually excites the solar wind and creates our pretty uh, aurora borealis. So that's why we get um, northern lights. Okay, is because of our magnetosphere around our Earth. So uh, it's really awesome. It is currently on the, de the decline. There's a possible polarity reversal in the works right now, but also there's possibly not. So uh, we've deemed it not to be the most um, dangerous thing right now, um, especially in these circumstances. I don't think it needs to be at the top of your worry list. Okay. So that's just a crazy diagram about, you know, a nice strong field and that's kind of what it could look like while it switches. There's a bunch of small souths and norths and everything like that. So really important to note that it's never gonna go away during a reversal. It just might go a little bit wonky, okay? Uh, so what is a magnetic field created by? This is really, really important. Make sure you know this. Magnetic field is created by the movement of electric charge. Okay, that's what makes a certain material magnetic or not is the way that it's electric charge moves. Okay, so I did um, post a video on this and about how magnetic domains align. You really, really need to watch that video. It's a great one. It's one I would have normally shown in class anyways. Uh, so please, please watch that. Okay. So really it's just the way electrons move through this, the magnetic field here to create the field. And it's the way that the electrons spin. Okay. So that can constitute a moving electric charge, but of course some electrons spin in some elements and it doesn't create a magnet and it does in some others. So again, watch that video about uh, magnetic substances and ferromagnetic substances and magnetic domains and things like that. Okay, please, please, please watch it. Temporary magnets. Um, iron is going to be one of your biggest magnetic materials, but you can make other ones temporary magnets. Um, and what you do is you take a permanent magnet like this and you take a magnetic substance and you just basically stroke the magnetic substance with one of the poles and eventually they will become temporarily uh, magnetic. Okay, so domains, this is the video I posted uh, that you need to know about. Please, 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 okay? And then this, um, oh yeah, permanent magnets. You can place iron or al iron alloy in a strong field, okay? That's the stroking as well. And that with iron especially going to create another permanent magnet. I can weaken the field by dropping or heating above a certain temperature, okay? Uh, iron heating above a certain temperature doesn't really affect it because that's what ha is happening in our molten core. And of course it's very magnetic, but other situations, um, you can weaken it by heating it. This will be weakened by um, dropping the temperature. Okay, so if I take this outside on a really cold day, it's not gonna be as magnetic. All right, and then next we're gonna go over the first and second hand rules and how a magnetic field is created with um, moving charge like a current, okay? So stay tuned for that. But that's what I need you guys to know about magnetic fields, just a few other things. Here's something that's just really cool. So here's a magnet, here's a bunch of iron fillings. And right now, look, they can just move around nice and freely uh, and yeah, it's really not that special. As soon as I put the magnet in there, I do this, you can start to see the magnetic field, okay? It's actually probably not the best view for you because, well, gravity's pulling them on down. So just a sec. 
there we go. There is the magnet and the magnetic field and you can see how just all the iron fillings go around the magnet. If you watch Stranger Things, it looks like something from the upside down. So yet another way that we can show uh, how the poles interact with each other. Okay, and I just think it's kind of cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. I think that's all I have to show you right now. So that's it for magnetic fields. Uh, next up, you should be going over the first and second hand rule. Have fun.